Once you have your photos off of your memory card and onto your computer, Enhance is going to allow you to control things such as exposure, contrast, white balance, and color. You're also going to be able to remove distractions such as blemishes and noise and add additional finishing touches such as vignette and sharpening. If you're finding that there's common settings that you're using over and over again, creating presets is a good idea. And the Enhance application comes preloaded with several presets. So if I want to click on my Enhancement presets, I can come over and get a preview through the thumbnail of what that setting is going to look like. So I can go ahead and select one, and those settings are then applied to the photograph. If I'd like to toggle between my original photo and the new settings that I'm using, I can simply click on and off this preview button here to show the original and my new settings. If you prefer to have a split view, you can use the A icon to split your screen between original and your new settings. And if you want to turn that back off, simply just click again and that will disappear. Some of the tools that we have available in Enhance is the Crop tool, as well as blemish tools such as the Perfect Eraser, the Retouch Brush, and the Red Eye Brush. There's also a Panning and a Zooming tool within Enhance as well. You'll find here at the top that the zoom is always telling you how far zoomed into the photograph you are, which right now it's about 25%. We also have common presets so you can snap to a 1 to 1 ratio at 100%, 50%, or 25%. The navigator gives us another preview into the photograph and what it's looking like with the current settings and also allows us to zoom and move around within the photograph. The loop pane allows you to simply just hover your mouse over a specific area of the photograph and you get that magnification through the loop. And you can change that magnification based upon this slider here. The histogram gives you the red, green, blue, and tone values of the photograph. The info pane shows the relevant metadata about the photograph. As we come over into the right pane, you can collapse and show each one simply by clicking Show and Hide as you hover in the top right corner of each individual pane. These are the controls for color and tone adjustment, vignette, sharpening, and noise reduction. This right bar shows us the various applications within the Photo 10 suite, so we can easily switch over into effects or portrait if we like. Below, you'll find various export and sharing options. By clicking this icon, this is where we can determine our export preferences. We also have our sharing preferences on this icon here. This lets you post for different formats, social media, and applications. This double arrow allows you to collapse the entire pane for a little more real estate when you're viewing your photograph. You can also collapse this on the left side as well. A single click turns these on and off. When you're happy with your settings, simply click Save.